first of all, as a teacher, uh, I teach uh, history and theory courses that are always global, that are always topical. Uh, for me, history, and again, I'm quoting my mentor, Joseph Rickward, history is all we know. And as he used to say, so you better know it, Victor. So, and I don't teach history simply because I want to convey facts or to convey ir irrelevant knowledge. You know, I, you know, when I look at the ancient Roman world, um, for instance, um, pestilence, malaria, uh, wiped out, you know, quite a bit, uh, of places at the time. Rome would flood regularly. Uh, so, uh, yeah, from my teaching, I deal with that. The book on Emilio uh, deals with quite a bit about race and his white privilege and um, his trying to represent the architecture and the vernacular life of the Caribbean without being derogatory or presenting it in a kind of, you know, with any contempt. He's trying to grasp the basic humanity. So all of those things impact. Um, and I've even written a few um, essays. Uh, I wrote an article in the Plan Journal about two years ago with a colleague, um, Eric Furley, on called Miami Rising. And what we did is we looked at four case studies historically. I looked at ancient Rome and New Orleans, colonial New Orleans. He looked at Venice and Sacramento. And what we did is we looked at these four historic case studies as a way of trying to better understand how they managed, dealt with, accepted issues of flooding, sea level rise, growth, expansion, responsibility, et cetera. So uh, yes, I would even write on the topic. Um, Eric and I also wrote a small piece for the uh, Italian pavilion of the Venice Biennale for this year, which unfortunately is now postponed <laughs> until next year. I hope they'll still include that piece. And um, Eric and I are also writing a, uh, a book called the Urban Housing Handbook. Um, it's actually a revised edition of the handbook that he had produced before. And again, it's looking at um, housing, uh, not high-end residential, but housing for people and the situation with uh, cities. And what the, the, the way the book is structured is that there are historic examples and then there are contemporary examples of the various kinds of types. So I think it's actually impossible to teach architecture today without dealing with uh, climate, uh, sea level rise, social equity. And I would finally say that um, Miami is a really, really challenging situation because um, Forgive me for saying this, but I have very little faith in saving it. I think that 100 years from now, Miami will be unrecognizable, if not non-existent. And I think I think there's very little we can do to stop it.